Please lay down on your back comfortably. Close your eyes and breathe deeply. Relax yourself totally. Inhale as deep as you can. And exhale as deep as you can. While you breathe in, visualize and feel your body is absorbing energy. And while breathe out, all the tensions easing and your body is relaxing. Inhale deeply and exhale deeply. Take a few deep breaths according to your own body's natural rhythm. Then gradually and slowly slow down the breath, visualize and feel yourself. I will be guiding you through one by one every part of your body from toes to the top while you feel them and slow down the breath. As you feel through your body, imagine, visualize and feel a shadow of relaxation gradually moving upwards from toes to the toe one by one as I guide them through. Gradually slow down the breath. Feel your toes and feel your feet. Feel your ankles and calves and knees. Feel your thighs. Feel your hips and hip joint. Feel your low back and spine and kidneys. Feel your abdomen and internal organs. Feel your blood. Feel your gallbladder and liver. Feel your pancreas and stomach. Feel your sternum. Feel your ribs and ribcage and feel your heart, feel your lungs, feel your breath, feel your collarbones and shoulders, elbows and wrists and palms, fingers and Feel your neck, feel your throat, and feel your ears. Feel your chin, feel your cheeks, feel your mouth, lips, tongue, and teeth. Feel your nose and eyes and eyebrows and forehead, crown of the head and back of the head, feel your brain, feel your body, feel your internal organs, feel your heart, feel your lungs, feel your breath, feel your brain, Feel your mind. Feel your senses and internalize your all senses. Feel through the system level of your existence. Feel your 11 major systems and their synchronized functions keeping you alive. And slowly visualize and feel further the organ level of your existence. Feel your vital organs. And visualize and feel further into the tissue level of your existence. Feel the different group of cells. And visualize and feel the cellular level of your existence. Your body is a living colony of cells. And in a cellular level, you have been more often being born and dead as well. 
visualize and feel beyond the cells we are made from chemical compounds which are made from molecules and atoms in a subatomic level we are made from energy fields which are evolved from a dimension beyond the reality of our perception recognize yourself into the subtle most beyond any qualities through which you can identify yourself as your spirit and recognize that eternal peace within for a few seconds now slowly bring back your awareness of the evolution of spirit into energy subatomic energy field further acquires kinetic and potential energy forming atoms and combine them molecules making the chemical compounds through which your body is made and in the morphogenetic field as organelles they start gradually developing the tendency of biological properties as a living cell it is completely intact with the all biological qualities of millions of years of your genetic memory as well and we also started as a single cell at conception too visualize and feel group of cells forming tissues organs and the other major systems and finally you are here relax you are a student in the class as well as one of the billions of human beings alive in this very moment recognize and feel thousands of people engaged in the sexual activity which feels a romantic and personal and private to them maybe and out of them thousands of conceptions happening in this very moment and recognize and feel the development of those embryos and feel thousands of women at their labor delivering their babies right now and those children taking their first cry and the first breath for the first time as well visualize and feel further so many people in this very moment on their deathbed naturally through aging through accidents or diseases they struggle for the last breath when they cannot continue whatever they gather through food and water to their physical body is left behind to recycle after the death which will be reused in the plant recognize and feel the entire human species is only one form of life from amoeba to the blue whales there were also dinosaurs mammals neanderthals many other uh, species of life including our ancestors lived on earth roamed on earth and died out and we will also follow them a certain time in the future recognize and feel that the moon as a part of the solar system which is part of our milky way galaxy and our galaxy among the multi trillion galaxies in the known universe and there are so many unknown dimensions of this universe beyond the reality of our perception how if you breath of silence while you feel from the point zero we can count plus or minus numerals infinitely from the everyday awareness you have the potential to microcosmically expand into the spirit within and macrocosmically expand outward to the vastness of this universe as we know it and beyond and have a minute of silence and feel it expanding in both ways
about your senses. Connect your toes and fingers. Wiggle your toes and fingers and bring your feet together. Stretch your hands all the way behind. Give an eye, stretch to the body. All the way up and down and exhale. And turn your body to the right side. Press there for three breaths. Then slowly push your left hand in front of the chest at your own time and sit up comfortably for the beginning prayer. Sit in any crossway position. Keep your hands resting in chin mudra, body steady. Spine straight, sternum up and shoulders back, neck straight. Close your eyes, point finger touching the tip of the thumb, chin mudra. Inhale, take a deep breath and exhale. Now inhale, take another deep breath and exhale. Now inhale, take a deep breath and join. Stand in front of the mat with feet parallel. Distance in between your feet as much as your hip joints. And keep your feet parallel and spread your toes first forward and extend them out and spread them out and place them down. Lift the arch of the foot up by engaging your muscle. Micro bend the knee. Keep the knee straight, engage your weight on your muscles and protect your knee. And gently lengthen the tailbone and tuck it forward, engage your core muscles, minimize the lumbar curve, lift the sternum up, roll out the shoulders back, keep your neck straight by chin towards the chest. And feel a stretch upward from the spine. Inhale, stretch your hands all the way apart, raise your hands up, open the shoulders wide. Exhale, open shoulders, both hands down through the sides, next to the feet, all the way down. Inhale, move your spine straight. Jump or step back. Exhale, lean forward, lower your body down into Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. 
open your shoulders, elbow close to the body. Exhale back into Ashtanga Namaskar or plank. Inhale, push into downward facing dog position. Now two, three breaths, pedal your legs to exercise and lose it up. And then the last three breaths, keep it up there and stretch your spine. Put the fingers spreading wider. Engage the weight on the palm. Micro bend your elbows and engage your shoulders. So the weight is going through your muscles, not on your palm and joints. Breathe, stretch and feel yourself. Now inhale, lean forward, either jump or step forward. Exhale, chest towards your knee. Inhale, stretch your both hands all the way apart. Raise your hands up, open the shoulders wide. Exhale, both hands down through the sides next to the thighs. Please repeat it four times on your own. Shake your joints and swing in between whenever needed and then relax after. Slow movement, deep breaths and gentle practice with awareness. Always take it easy. Synchronize your breath and movements. If your body is panting, you can relax whenever you need, either in child's pose or shavasana, or stand and keep taking a few breaths before you continue. Slow movements and deep breaths, gentle practice with awareness. Keep breathing, keep stretching, and keep feeling yourself. Breathe. Always stretch in between a couple of salutations. It's good to loosen up your joints and increase the circulation and detoxification to them. Keep your mind fully focused in the present. Awaken your senses. Go deep within feeling every sensation. Visualize and feel your anatomy and physiology while in action. And feel what's happening within your body in each pose and movement. The more you stay alert, the better you result from the practice.
and today you do the four rounds of self practice and one side is meant and guide it so five times a little bit and relax after that take your time Always shake your joints before you do the relaxation. And during the rest, breathe in and out well until your heart rate and breath rate relaxes. And then a little time, you will raise your legs up to reverse your circulation from the legs in between, which is good for balance. And it assists your cardiac functions, and especially the drainage of blood and blood from the veins back into the systematic circulation. So first relaxation and then raising the legs. Whenever completely relaxed, and we will continue to the second salutation of the morning class, and which is I call it morning version of the moon salutation. <coughs> Minor modifications are given from the popular practices to suit our time with keeping opening your mouth, shoulders, and stuff like that. So stand in front of the mat with feet parallel, keep the body steady. Inhale, roll the shoulders, expand your chest. Exhale, lower your body down into squatting with your hands in front of you. Inhale, swing the hands up through the sides and up into Utkatasana. Straight your knees, straight your hands. Exhale, both hands down through the sides next to the feet. Inhale, move your spine straight. Jump or step back. Exhale, lean forward, lower your body down into Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, back into Chaturanga or plank. Inhale, into downward facing dog. And exhale. Now inhale, raise your right leg up. Yega Bada Adhoruka Shwanasana. One leg downward facing dog position. Keep your shoulders parallel. If this is too hard for you, you can drop your left knee down to balance it out easier. Breathe and stretch and feel yourself. Exhale, bring it forward in between your palm. Inhale, bring your both hands up through the sides and up into Veerabhadrasana. Open the shoulders, expand your chest, lift your sternum. Open your heart and breathe.
Exhale, both hands down through the sides next to the feet. Inhale, take your leg back. Exhale, lean forward, lower your body down into Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, back into Chaturanga or plank. Inhale, into downward facing dog and exhale. Now inhale, raise your left leg up. Yega Pada Atomukha Shwanyasin. One leg downward facing the position. Breathe and stretch and feel yourself. Again, exhale, bring it forward in between your palm. Inhale, bring your both hands up through the sides and up into Virabhadrasana. Open the shoulders, expand your chest, lift your sternum, open your heart, breathe. Exhale, both hands down through the sides next to the feet. Inhale, take your leg back. Exhale, lean forward, lower your body down into Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, back into Chaturanga or plank. Inhale, into downward facing dog. And two, three breaths. Exercise your legs by bending and straightening, stretching your knees, which is very good to loosen up the muscles of the lower back, deep inside like the inner psoas, etc. They can only move with the synchronized movement of your legs. And then last three breaths, just hold it and breathe. Very good. Now bend your knee, lean forward, jump or step forward. Exhale, sit into squatting with your hands in front of you. Upaveshasana. Now inhale, swing the hands up through the sides and up into Utkatasana, chair pose. Then straight your knees, straight your hands, exhale back, hands down through the sides, next to the thighs. Shake your hands and legs, swing your spine at your own time. Please repeat it four times in between, shaking your joints and swinging your body, and then relax. Slow movements, deep breaths, and gentle practice with awareness. Deep Ujjayi breaths. Slow down the practice if you feel the breath is raising. Otherwise, it's not the healthiest way. Always keep your breathing comfortable.
keep your muscles engaged, your mind focused in the body with its effects of each pause and movement. Try to maximum synchronize your breath and movements. When your chest and abdomen is expanding or stretching, it's inhalation. When they are contracting or compressing, it should be exhalation. So we simply naturally follow the pattern of breath as the speed of our movements. Yoga is the harmony of the body, mind and spirit in your action. With stillness in the action while retaining poses as well. Engage your mind and senses totally feeling what you're doing and use your own awareness to fine tune your practice more towards the favor of your own health and well being and mindfulness. last part I want to give you a correction 
So when you step forward, it was inhalation. Watch me. Mm -hmm. Then exhale. Yeah. Then inhale. Yeah, it's a lot of work, man. Yeah, that's okay. Just a little bit of correction. In the, the last part, yeah. right? Exhale, you step forward, inhale, hands up, and then exhale down.
Getting better and better each time. Also, the stamina continues. Going through the nose. My little Jane, Victoria's breath. You just complete it. Scan your body and feel it out. While you breathe in, visualize and feel the body is absorbing energy. And while breathing out, all the tension is easing and your body is relaxing. Inhale deeply and exhale deeply. Relax yourself totally. Relax your body, relax your mind, relax your breath. Raise your legs for a little while, bicycle in there, or shake your legs to reverse your circulation for a little while.
ready to continue into the posture, stretch your body. Sit up, stand up, shake your joints, stand in front of the mat. And I will guide you through the poses. We hold about six breaths in each poses today. We'll go from pose to pose. Stand in front of the mat, feet parallel. Keep your foot steady and straight. Yes. Inhale, stretch your hands all the way apart. Loose up and stretch your spine. A little bit of stretch and swing sideways and extend. And then exhale all the way, bend forward and down as far as you can. And keeping your back straight, keep your sternum up and keep your knees micro bent. Uttanasana or standing forward bend. Breathe and stretch and feel yourself. Feel the stretch on your lower back and focus on it fully. Breathe and stretch and feel yourself. Count on your breath. When six breaths are done, inhale slowly come back. If you have a tension on the back, bend your knee, engage your core muscles and protect the back will come up. And exhale, hands up your kidneys, arch back. Bring your hand down, shake your hands and legs. Now from there, inhale, stretch your right leg to the right side, right heel towards the left arch if you feel quite tight on the hips, otherwise right heel towards the left heel. Right foot parallel to the mat, left foot vertical to the mat. Inhale, roll all the shoulders, expand the chest, lengthen and stretch to the left side, extending and exhale, lean to the right side and go down without tilting. In the beginning, until you develop a certain improvement, you will keep the pelvis straight. And when you advance in the flexibility, you can lean a bit forward so that your bone doesn't, the hip, uh, femur doesn't push into your hip joint. Breathe. Uttida Trigona Asana or standing triangle position. Breathe. And stretch and feel yourself. Uttita Trigonasan or standing triangle position. Breathe. Stay there for your own six breaths. When that is completed, bend your right knee and lay the muscles. Inhale, put back up. Exhale, change your feet opposite. And inhale, roll over the shoulders, vinyasa and stretch to the right side, raising your left hand up and exhale, lean forward and go down to the left side. Uttida Trikona Asana, opening the pelvis, opening and extending the shoulders. Breathe, breathe and stretch and feel yourself. Keep breathing, keep stretching and keep feeling yourself. Breathe. Again, maintain six breaths of your own. And after that, inhale, left knee, inhale, come back. Exhale, turn opposite. Shake your knees, put the left heel out. Both feet pointing forward, feet hip width apart and right hand on the waist. Inhale, stretch your left hand up, arch back. Exhale, extend and revolve and go down as far as you're comfortable. Don't crumble and squeeze your shoulders. Parivritti Trikonasan or revolving triangle position. Parivritti Trikonasana or revolving Triangle position. Breathe and stretch and feel yourself. <coughs> Always count your own comfortable six breaths. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, change your feet opposite. Shake your knees and turn your right heel out. Both feet pointing towards the front with the hip width apart. Move your right foot a little outside, yeah. Now left hand on the waist. Raise your right hand behind, inhale, arch back. 
Exhale, extend, revolve and twist. Parivritti Trigonasana or revolving triangle position. So everyone should go at their own pace. You don't need to struggle to go down unless you are flexible because otherwise you will crunch your shoulders. Parivritti Trigonasana and some people certainly you can use the bricks to support and that's up to you. Breathe. Breathe and stretch and feel yourself. Inhale, come back. Exhale, change your feet opposite and extend your legs wider up to your capacity. Parshwa Konasana, side angle position. No, no, this version. Parshwa Konasana, like this. Inhale, roll over the shoulders, expand the chest and exhale, either here or here, if you are flexible, go for it inside. But keep your pelvis open. Parshva Konasan or side angle position. Parshva Konasana side angle position. Breathe and stretch and feel yourself and inhale come back exhale shift your leg start with vinyasa again no no vinyasa like this inhale roll over the shoulders and then exhale or go down if you are more flexible sorry yeah open inhale and exhale bend down 90 degree bending your knee yeah, and stretch the other hand up. Yes. You can support the knee more bending and this leg will be more out. And open here. Yeah. And that's the flexibility you have for now. Eventually, if you go further, as per you loosen up your body. Breathe. Inhale, come back. Exhale, change your feet pos opposite. Shake your joints. Now inhale, roll over the shoulders. Exhale, revolve, step up on your left toe. Bring the left forearm across the right knee and twist. And put hands in prayer position. Palm in the center of your sternum. Parivritti, Parshva Konasana or revolving side angle position. Parivritti Parshva Konasana revolving side angle position breathe and stretch and feel it inhale come back up revolve exhale change the feet opposite shake your knees again vinyasa inhale roll over the shoulders exhale revolve step up on your right toe Bring the right forearm across the left thigh, hands in prayer position, either an extension of the spine followed by a twist up to capacity. Then find your suitable position, retain it and breathe for six times. Parivrutti Parshakonasin or revolving side angle position. Breathe. Parivritti Parshwa Konasana Revolving Side Angle Position Breathe Inhale, come back up Exhale, face to the front Now both feet parallel And then little bit, heels turning out Hands on your waist Prasarita Padottanasana Widespread leg, standing board bend Inhale, lift your sternum Arch back, exhale, extend, bend forward and down. Place the palm down, stretch forward, make sure you don't lean back or forward and just stretch it out. You can move your hips a little bit forward. Yeah, that's good. Open the shoulders, breathe. Prasarita Pada Uttanasana, first variation. Breathe and stretch and feel yourself. After six breaths, 
Place your palm on your waist. Let your body weight to hang down. Then swing your body on each side. Exhale to the right. Inhale to the center. Exhale to the other side. And inhale to the center. Exhale. Now repeat it five more times. And when that is completed, interlock the hands behind, stretch your hands over your head. Do not hyperextend it and take another six breaths there comfortably. Open the shoulders wide, engage your muscles on the legs, so the knees not strained. Breathe. And after that, hold your hands on your toes, ankles, foot or thighs, wherever you can. Put the shoulders apart, extend and stretch for another six breaths. While you pour now, or complete widespread leg, standing forward leg. Breathe. Breathe. And stretch. And after six breaths, sit down to the right side, stretch your left leg. For six breaths, one leg squatting, follow the other side. Always the straight leg, the knee must be micro bending. <clears throat> Breathe. And when both sides are done, stand up, hands under your kidneys, arch back, a little bit and breathe out, open your chest. And inhale, stand up, walk your feet tilting on each side, and slowly come into the front. Now face the mat towards me here, shake your joints, sing your spine, move your body up and down. Now the split sequence, feet parallel, standing in front of the mat. Inhale, stretch your both hands all the way apart, raise your both hands up. Exhale, open shoulders, both hands down through the sides, next to the feet, all the way down. Inhale, take your right leg back, hold the runner stretch, and take six breaths there. Breathe, and stretch, and feel yourself. Six breaths, push back into downward dog. Exercise your leg, loose up your back, and then bring the other leg forward and repeat the same stretch on the opposite side. Runner stretch, Ashu Sanjavan. Breathe and stretch and feel yourself. Six breaths again, go back into downward dog, exercise your legs, loosen up, and then bring the other leg forward, bending the knee, heels next to your perineum, and descending down into pigeon pose, Kapotasana. And try to keep your hips as straight as possible here. And in the beginning, it's good to lay down forward, get your knees stretch on the lower back, and as well your spine and the muscles on the legs loose up, 
you can start doing more advanced variations by walking your hands close to your waist, bending the knee and holding them, etc. But at this point, for you, this is enough. Breathe. Kapotasan or pigeon pose. Six breaths, push back again slowly in the downward dog, loose up your lower back and legs, and then repeat the other side. And then further, go back into downward dog, exercise your legs and then stretch any of your legs suitable forward into full split. If it's too hard for you, hold the bricks on each side to keep not too much strain on your leg. In the meantime, keep your hips straight. And the knee on the front need to be micro bended so you don't get hyper extended. So stay six breaths on one side. And then go back into downward dog and exercise the legs and repeat the other side on your own time. Don't rush it, take your time. And then downward dog again, exercise your legs, loose it up. Once you completely lose it up, bring your left leg to the front and slowly sit down facing this way. Bring the left leg back and sit down facing here with the legs wide open. And open your both legs wide. Inhale, stretch, loose up. Exhale, turn your body to the right side and bend forward and go down. Stay there for six breaths. And after your own six breaths, inhale, raise up, loose up, and turn to the other side and exhale. Repeat the opposite side for six breaths again. Breathe. And then inhale up, now twisted version. You turn your right shoulder, moving inward, and open twist. Yes. Jan Mulasan. Stairs express on each sides. Six breaths, repeat the next 
say, Lord, I'll give others a twisted metal basket. Inhale up, loose up, exhale, bend forward and down. Yeah, wherever you're comfortable. You can bend the knee a little bit to stretch your back a bit more if it's needed. So it takes a little time for you. This region is having a lot of stiffness. And after six for that, you go to frog pose on your own. And rest there another six breaths. Six breath of these, lay down on your back and bicycle in the air, ball direction six times, shake your legs and stretch your back and stand up again. Stand up, step your right leg forward for standing forward, bend, sideward forward, bend. Pass Shottanasana. Both feet pointing forward, feet a little wide. Yes. Now, hands either interlocking your hands behind or upright right position or holding the elbow. Inhale, eject the sternum, arch back. Exhale, extend, bend forward. Sternum towards the knee, keep the upper back straight. Try to keep your hips equally balanced on both sides. And mandate and force express. Now just express, inhale, come back, relax your hands and shake them, change your feet opposite. And move your right foot a little to the side, outward. It's too much work. Instead of you know, like here and then walk forward, yes. Can I repeat a bit closer? Yeah, that's good. Now, hands in a suitable position behind. Inhale, eject the sternum, arch back. Exhale, extend, bend forward and stretch and feel. Parshwa Uttanasana. Sideward, forward, bend. Breathe and stretch and feel yourself. And probably you can bend down a little bit more from here. Yeah, keep this going. Six breaths of your own. And when it's completed, slowly come back. Shake your hands and legs, free yourself. Now the three single leg stretches from standing. Yagapada, Hastapada, Mustasana. You can use the belt. Start on the right side. Put the belt on the foot if needed. You can use the wall to raise and rest the feet or just hold it with your hands. Whatever works for you. Stretch forward for six press. Then open and stretch to the side for six press. See what works for you. Remember everyone how to work from where you are. So it is not necessary to push it too much. Work on your alignment rather than thinking about the dynamic or advanced version where you get more health problems and injuries. 
And after six breaths of this, you can hold the breath only on the right hand. Open it to the right side, but if needed, the other hand open to the side to balance or hold on the waist, whichever works for you. In the third variation without the belt, you're stretching the leg forward, pulling the toe forward if you want, and then just engage and strengthen by engaging the muscles on the rotus maximus core. And the other leg in which you're standing must be engaged with micro bending of your joints. And then shake your joints and relax, repeat them, all three variations on the other side as well. Six breaths, hold the belt, or hold the hand on the left leg and open it to the left side. And breathe. And now the straight leg. Without hand support, so more or less you are engaging more of your muscles to maintain it. And once completed, come back and shake your joints very well. Move up and down on your toes, shake your legs one by one. Swing your spine, loose up. Then standing half moon pose to the right side. You balance on the mat, right foot towards the right side. <clears throat> Engage your muscles, inhale, roll over the shoulders, exhale. Stretch your body and descend down. And stay with your back straight if you can. Pelvis open, looking up. So more or less turning this way. And eventually you should bring the leg more up, but that can be. Take six breaths on one side. Engage your muscles. <laughs> okay, when you have enough, come back and shake your joints and repeat it on the other side. Uttita Ardha Chandrasana, standing half moon pose. Then shake your joints again, come back in front of the mat. Now warrior three, plane and crane. So balance on your left foot. Stretch your hands up. And engage your muscles on the left leg, core muscles. And exhale, descend down. And keep your body parallel, hands and legs. Parallel to the ground, stretching as much as you can. Keeping your hips parallel to each other. Stay for six breaths there, which is Veera Badrasana or Varya the third variation. Then you open the hands and move the shoulders apart. That's called Vimanasana or Plain Pose. Another six breaths. And then hold your hands on your knees or bending forward and down standing split or standing crane pose. Again, use the bricks if you want or hold on the leg, whichever works for you. And when completed, slowly come back at your own time, shake your joints, repeat these three poses on the other side. Virabhadrasana, that variation, Vimansanasana or Uttita Bhakasana. 
or in English, warrior three playing and rank or standing suits. And shake your joints, half bottom lotus standing forward bend. If you need, take the bell. Otherwise, do just an easier variation until you become loose. Artha Banda Padmotanasan. So, here Joshua is doing a preparatory practice only because he needs to loosen up slowly. Those are comfortable, can put the right hand going behind, holding the right toe from behind. Then bending forward and down, holding the other hand on the leg or on the ground or on the brake will be the variation. And stay six rest on one side and then repeat the other side. This pose can be excluded for those people who have a knee pain or back problems, etc. They can do instead three pose for a longer duration. Shake your joints now. Three pose balance on your left leg with the right foot inside the thigh, not on the kneecap, and balance for six breaths. You can have your hands in prayer position or raise your hands above, or do the Namaskara Mudra or Kailash Mudra, whichever works for you with the hands above your head. Don't squeeze your neck, rather, keep the elbows out. Breathe. <coughs> Six breaths, come back, <coughs> shake your joints, and repeat the other side. Standing Vinyasa sequence. This is a transition of a bit of cardiovascular workout as a flow before we move into the seating poses. Okay, stand in front of the mat with feet parallel. Inhale, stretch your both hands all the way apart, raise your hands up, loose up the spine. Exhale, open shoulders, both hands down through the sides, next to the feet, all the way down. Inhale, move the spine straight, jump or step back. Exhale, lean forward, lower your body down into Chaturanga Vinyasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, back into Chaturanga or man. Inhale, into downward facing dog. And stay there for a few breaths. Exercise your legs first, and then retain it and stretch. Adhomukha Svanasana, or downward facing dog position. Breathe, 
unstretch and lean yourself. Now bend your knee, lean forward, jump or step forward. Exhale, sit into squatting with your hands in front of you. Inhale, swing your hands up through the sides and up into Utkatasana. Observe, hold the pose, take a few breaths, engage your muscles. Now straight your knees, straight your hands, exhale both hands down through the sides next to the feet, all the way down. Inhale, move the spine straight, jump or step back. Exhale, lean forward, lower your body down into Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, back into Chaturanga or plank. Inhale, into downward facing dog. And exhale. Now inhale, raise your right leg up. Exhale, bring it forward in between your palm. Inhale, raise your both hands up into Virabhadrasana. Open the shoulders. Expand your chest. Lift your sternum. Open your heart. Breathe. Now inhale up. Exhale, turn opposite. Do the same position. Retain it. Straighten your right heel a little bit more to the right side. Yes. Breathe. <coughs> Breathe and stretch. Now inhale, warrior, first variation. Open the right hand to the right side. Left hand to the left side. Open the pelvis here as well. Yeah. Lean back a little bit more. Right. Yeah. Breathe. Virabhadrasana, first variation. Breathe. Tuck the tailbone under. Take another breath. Then inhale, come up and exhale, turn opposite. Do the same pose facing that way. Yes, stretching the shoulders away from each other. Opening the pelvis here. Breathe. Very good. Exhale, both hands down through the sides next to the feet. Inhale, take your leg back. Exhale, lean forward, lower your body down into Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, back into Chaturanga or blind. Inhale, into downward facing dog. Retain the pose, breathe a few times. Now walk or jump through into a seated post, Dandasana. Place the palm next to your spine, stretch your legs forward, extend your spine and loose up your spine for a few breaths. It's called Dandasana, stick pose to stretch. Now we'll do core exercises, we'll do the all variations. First is the easy core exercise, lay down on your back and exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, as many as you can. If people have neck problems, they can keep the neck down, hands hold just on the shoulders, and then do the same pose without bending the neck as an easier option. Core exercise sequence is always good to do, no matter what type of fitness you're doing. We are weak in the region in modern lifestyles. And when that is enough, the next variation is like this. Support your hands in a way your back is comfortable. You can even go on the elbows if you want. And exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. As many as possible. Inhale, stretch your leg. Exhale, bring it closer. Engage your core. Those are back problems. You must use a suitable angle. And if it's still painful, avoid it. Good. 
one more step. Here you balance in board pose. Do the same movement. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. You can also move your hands in the center and out. And the longer, lower you are, the harder the workout is and better the effects that we do. <coughs> Now you lay down on your back, inhale and exhale, come up, low boat. keep breathing and keep smiling as long as you can. And when you can't do it anymore, exhale, inhale, exhale, exhale up, inhale, exhale up, yes. Then same thing from behind, stretch your hands behind, inhale and exhale, come up, and exhale, inhale, exhale. Now we'll do the workout for the sides of the base. Inhale, lay down on your back, hands behind. Exhale, come up and twist to the right side, go all the way down. Inhale, come back. And exhale, go to the other side. And repeat as many as possible. And when you have enough, I show you the last variation of power exercises. This is dynamic, so people have any health problem or beginners should not do it. Unless you are really strong, this is not advised. Okay, watch me. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. You can try it. <laughs> Starting on the answer? No, starting with the hands behind, anywhere, either in or out, doesn't matter. Exhale. Inhale. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> that's fine. Don't uh, 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 exhaust yourself. That's fine. Stretch your spine. Take the belt. Five equally leg stretches. <coughs> Use the belt, or if you are flexible, you can just directly hold your hands on your mouth, right foot. Raise it up. And inhale, open it to the right side. Open the left hand to the left side. Here, make sure both hips are down. Stretch only as far as you can. Take six breaths. And after your own six breaths, come up with exhalation. Inhale, change your hand. Exhale, drop it to the other side and keep your shoulders down here for a hip can raise. Stay another six breaths here. And then Inhale, bring the leg up, hold both hands, and exhale, bend forward and down, pull the elbows out. Third variation. And if you have any spinal injury or discomfort, only stretch the leg, don't need to come up. And then bend the knee beside your chest. Half happy baby pose. Stretch it for another six breaths. Then bend your knee, hold your hands. Around it, <coughs> bring the chest towards the knee if you can, pull the elbows out. 
energy releasing force power of tassan again people have a neck pain or something can only stretch the leg keep the back down and the arm as well that's option elbow to the sides good breathe and stretch and feel yourself now to six breaths bring the leg down shake your legs loose up repeat the all five variations six breaths each of them on the other side on your own each variation only six breaths out here and we can bring the chest towards the knee if it's comfortable <coughs> or pull the leg towards the chest <coughs> and once this is completed bicycle in the air in both directions and stretch your spine all the way up and down and then do six rock and rolls up to your comfortable variation twist of your choice any twist works for you always twist to the right side first keep both hips down on the ground in this variation and stretch your both hands up loose up and then bring the left hand across the right thigh and right hand supporting on the ground and stretch and your left hip need to get more down and you need to move more if you can breathe Six breaths on one side. Don't forget to extend before you repeat to the other side. Now extend your spine, stretch your leg, and do one arm balance of your choice. Crawl, peacock, crane, anything works for you. First, practice in squatting for six breaths. Regulate your breath and balance. Then engage the core and lean forward. Choose any variation, optionally, whichever you are comfortable. The more you advance, you can do the advanced variations of balancing process. And it's always up to the individual what to is comfortable. Being advanced in yoga practice means you are more deeply aware to tune the practice suit to your needs and health rather than 
extreme flexibility and strength is optional for certain people. Naturally, or through a systematic training, you can develop that. But the main thing is you must be able to know as far as it's good for you and work within your limits. Do you improve your health and well-being? Now, shake your verse, sit on your buttocks, balance in both pose. <coughs> Hold it for five to six breaths. And after this board, we have the finishing sequence of the morning glass as I plan it out. Now we have fish, bridge, wheel, plow, and shoulder stand, followed by headstand or its variations. Now, of course, females should not be practicing inversions during menstruation. Also, those who have extreme blood pressure variations, scoliosis, or any other vision related issues of the eye or surgery, increase uh, in high cardiac pressure, etc. So, we will do cover that in the theory. And in the morning, we are starting the classes, practicing from warm up followed by standing poses, then finishing with the inversions because your body is relaxed during the whole night. It's a good time to practice standing poses where it energizes you, the morning class energizes you, so that's why I call Sun Vinyasa Yoga. It prepares you for the day. Well, in the evening class, we have the opposite thing. We start poses after the warm up, more lay down stretches and start from inversions and finish with standing poses because people are usually sitting or standing a lot during the daily activities of our morning lifestyle. So the evening class is called Moon Hatha Yoga, Tribal Moon Hatha Yoga, where the morning class is called Tribal Sun Vinyasa Yoga. Morning class energizes, evening class calms you down to have an emotional balance for a relaxing evening. Now in shoulder stand, I always suggest people to use the cushions to raise your shoulders so the risk of neck compression is avoided. But many traditions do it without also, but I would consider that more or less a risk. So it's good to teach it this way for beginners at least, so they know how to take care of themselves without being straining their neck and it's very important. And always your shoulders raised on the cushions, about four fingers from the edge of it. And then depends on your flexibility, you can choose any variation. You can go to blow and then come up, but whichever works for you. And try to stay with the weight on the shoulders, not on the neck. And you engage your muscles and keep stretching your body up. So the weight is not sinking in your neck and shoulders as well. So usually, <laughs> inversion should be followed or preceded by dolphin exercises, which kind of helps to strengthen and rearrange the muscles and bones in the area. And 25 full dolphins are a basic level of qualification and then you don't have any other health problems and quite a good fitness, then you can try the head stand in itself. But I always teach people that shoulder stand, forearm stand, even hand stand is much more better than the head stand in itself in terms of the neck of the health. But to do a headstand, you need to gradually practice over a long period of time, strengthen the muscles before you do so. So here we do shoulder stand, plow, or you can do plow and then shoulder stand. And then the last pose will be the full inversion, like handstand or headstand, whatever works. And you can certainly do some dolphins before or after to strengthen and ease out your neck and shoulders. And that's always optional. And sometimes doing more dolphins even more healthy for your body rather than doing a full handstand or headstand. Because you may go there and stay only hold for a short period. By doing more dolphins, you gradually keep strengthening your neck and shoulders. Yes, your alignment has gradually been improving and it could still improve but for the time being you are doing it good. 
Keep the weight only partially on the neck. Engage your shoulders and keep the weight more going on your hands. And it's very important. And then when you come back, it's your choice. If you want to do a few more dolphins, you're welcome to do so. And then stand up. slowly stand. Face me. Shake your right leg. Left leg. Right leg. Left leg. Once again. Right. Left. And then together. Anyway, <coughs> our backward knee <coughs> problem should not jam. Now right hand. Left hand. Right hand. Left hand and together. Roll the shoulders three times. Opposite. Three times. And hands on your waist, uh, the shoulders. Okay, like this. Opposite. And hands on your waist. Just move your knees and have your hands on your thighs opposite. And hands on the waist again, feet a little wider. Inhale and exhale back three times. And opposite. And stand on your toes and move your body up and down. And shake your shoulders. Breathe out. Shake your buttocks and breathe out. Now jump up while you inhale. When you come down, shake the whole body and breathe out. But if you have any knee back problem, this should not be done. Now you can lay down for final relaxation. If you need, you can lay down also on the cushion, that's up to you. Find a suitable relaxing position. Breathe in and out deeply. Inhale as deep as you can. And exhale as deep as you can. Take a few deep breaths. According to your own body's natural rhythm. Then gradually and slowly slow down the breath. Visualize and feel yourself. And Mentally, such as every part of your body to relax from close to the top, one by one, aside, back and through. Before, if you prefer, you can squeeze your whole body and then open your mouth, open your fingers, stretch your whole body and breathe out. So you can do squeeze and exhale and release. Repeat it three times on your own. As I guide you through one by one, every part of your body to relax from toes to the top. Scan your body, give your own mental suggestions to every part of the body to relax from toes to the top. Relax my toes. Relax my toes. My toes are relaxed. Relax my feet, relax my ankles and cause the knees, relax my thighs, relax my hips and hip joints. Relax my lower back and spine 
Slowly bring your awareness towards your senses. Feel the sensations of the surface air touching your skin, temperature around your body. Feel the feelings of clothing over your skin. Listen to the inner melody of your own body, its rhythm, sounds of the beats of your own heart, sounds of the respiration. Feel the taste in your own mouth and feel the fragrance of the air you breathe in and out. Take a minute of silence with increased awareness and scan through your body. Feel the effect of the practice in your anatomy and physiology, also in your mind and emotions during this minute of silence. Slowly connect your body, wiggle your toes and fingers, bring your feet together. Stretch your hands all the way behind, give a nice stretch to the body, all the way up and down and exhale. And turn your body to the right side, bend your left knee, rest there for three breaths. And slowly push your left hand in front of the chest and sit up comfortably. And sit in a comfortable position, hands in chin mudra. We take three breaths, three ohms, followed by the final prayer. Try to get your knees straight as much as possible, okay? Yeah, you raise your right knee a little bit more up, yeah. Inhale, take a deep breath, and exhale. Inhale, take another deep breath, and exhale. Now inhale, take a deep breath and join. Asatoma Sagamaya Tamasoma Jatir Gamaya Mrityorma Amritam Gamaya Om Sarvesham Swastir Bhavatu Sarvesham Shandir Bhavatu Sarvesham Purnam Bhavatu Sarvesham Mangalam Bhavatu Om Purnamada Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudachyati Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Avashyati Loka Samasta Sukhino Bhavandu Om Shanti 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 Rub your hands, massage your eyes and face, open your eyes, hands in prayer position in front of your heart. Be thankful for the wonderful practice you had this morning. Enjoy the day. Keep the positive energy with you.